Are my eyes brown tunnels? No. No, then what is it? They're regular eyes, but what type of what type of um, figurative language am I using? Am I using a metaphor or am I using a simile? How do you know? Because it doesn't have regular eyes. Good. See, so, and what is what are the two things being compared? Brown tunnels and eyes. So, what are the two things being compared? Your eyes. To what? To brown tunnels. No. The two things being compared in that sentence. Let's go ahead and look at that sentence again. My eyes are brown tunnels. What are the two things being compared? Seven. Two things that are compared are your eyes. So tell me what a circle the two things, the two nouns that are being compared. Eyes mm -hmm. and tunnels. Good. So what are the two things being compared, Kendrick? Tunnels and eyes. Good. Tunnels and eyes. Is there one more metaphor that you found as light quickly? Go ahead. Um I see. Check out the lies, just giving her that answer. In the so first, that's why. In the first, um, it says, I am like the screeching sound of bricks. Good, now what type of figurative language is that? Is it a metaphor or a simile? It's a simile. How do you know? From the use of life. Okay, so you just like, and what are the two things being compared here? Um, screeching sound. What are the two nouns? Well, no? screeching and bricks. Nope, there's two, there's two nouns being compared. What are the two things being compared between those? Me and what else? Me to another noun. What's that other noun? What Brace. Brace and who? Um, nope. So brace is one. I. I. Good. So, I'm, so who's, who's um, being compared in the sentence? I. Good. And what else? Nope, as well, I repeat your answer. What are the two things being compared? I and bricks. Good, so I and like the sound of the bricks. Good, so those are the two things being compared. Go ahead and circle those two things now.